Okay, hello again. Special guest, my mom is here, visiting. Do you want to say hi? Or... Hi, y'all. <laughs> it's my 10 viewers. Um, so this, I've been waiting for 10 months for. Because uh, I got it from Brazil. And they've had some a bad case of COVID down there. And rather than have it um, be stuck at customs for six months, I told the artist to uh, just hold on to it until it was safe to send. Mm -hmm. And ten months later, it's finally here. Yeah, so let's open it. Did you get notification? Yeah, yeah. Oh. We, kept, we kept in touch. So I'm very excited. I want to get a frame for it. ASAP. What is the best way to open this? Mm, let's try this. Oh gosh. Okay. Ooh, there it is. Ooh. Oh, wow. Cool, cool. Okay. So, oh, I should probably say this is the Cadaver Records Spurs cover art. This is the extra piece for the back. Wow, that's super cool. Wow. Oh, and he, an, an extra little sketch he threw in. That's very cool. So yeah, this is by Zakuro Ayoama. I am sorry if I am not pronouncing that right. I'm probably not. What is this? Oh, maybe it's in here. Yes. We housed it in another record. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Cool. Man, that is so nice. It looks exactly like the the vinyl. I have the vinyl here you can see. Like some of the art, they like alter and stuff. This looks like exactly like it. So nice. It's like so it it's so detailed too. Mm -hmm. Incredibly detailed. Wow. Awesome. So what is this final he sent though? Mimic Pastoralis. Cool. I don't know what that is, but we'll have to check it out. Yeah. What color is the vinyl? Ooh. This green vine. Oh. Kind of looks like a test pressing with a blank label, but I don't think it is. I don't know. Cool though. I have to check that out. So, yeah, this is the. This is the cover, cover, and then this is the the back piece there, because that's separate. They kind of combine them together along here, though. That's pretty cool. All right, uh, that's it for now. Quick video. Bye. So, uh, hey, we're back. Uh, we were just looking at this more. And we turned around, and there's freaking Batman on the back. Uh, I don't know if he added that especially for me, or what, or if it was already on there. I don't know why it would already be on there, but I don't know. But that's super, super cool. <laughs> was not expecting that, but that's awesome.
Uh, thanks to Sakuro if you did that for me. That's super cool. Hey everyone, uh, this should be part two, I think. Uh, I just wanted to show some vinyl I've gotten recently. Uh, a lot that I've already opened and haven't shown, so I just want to show real quick. Uh, first is a Purity Ring Shrines album, <clears throat> signed by the band, which is pretty cool. Got that from someone off of uh, the Grail group. Next, M83, Hurry Up or Dreaming. Also got from the Grail. I think I got this from Justin, once again. Um, this one's going for a lot. I'm not sure why, because on Discogs, like, over a thousand people have it, I think. But I got that for a really good price from Justin, so thanks, Justin. Uh, Death Notes. This is the pink uh, Starburst edition. I think the subscriber edition. I'll take it out real quick. Um, I don't know if this is the rarest one. There it is, pretty cool looking. But the least amount of people on Discogs have it. But yeah, it didn't say the quantity made. I think the other rarest variant might be the purple one. So I also want that one. And it also has the uh, notebook cover too. It's pretty cool. Next, Human Centipede, the uh, yellow vinyl. I haven't opened it yet. Um, I feel like this is going to be kind of an underrated vinyl because it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, um, what's the word, advertised much, I guess. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm actually a fan of that movie. I think it's a pretty cool movie, even though it's gross and weird. <clears throat> All right, and then I went to FYE. Uh, with my mom, who you just saw, and um, they had a whole ton of FYE exclusive variants of these, and I couldn't believe they had so many of the good ones that people want, so I picked up a whole bunch. Uh, this is It Chapter 2. Uh, oh yeah, I haven't opened any of these either. I probably will, but not yet. Uh, Galaxy Quests, uh, Deep Space Purple Vinyl. 500 copies. Oh, and it was 750 copies. Vanilla Sky, 500 copies on Vanilla Yellow. Very cool. I love Vanilla Sky. Both the movie and the soundtrack. It's the first time I heard Sigur Rós. That's how I found out about them. Uh, Goonies. Uh, Canary Yellow Vinyl, limited to 1,000. Very cool. I have the gold version too, but not that one. Nightmare Before Christmas, FYE Purple. Doesn't say how many copies there are of this one, but I think a lot of people are looking for this one. Very cool. And Love Actually on FYE Red for 500 copies. I think it's Valentine's Day Red. Very cool. And then just a couple boxes to open. The first one is from Justin again. Oh yeah, a lot of people were freaking out about opening the Friday the 13th final with the knife, which I thought was funny. It had like five layers of bubble wrap. It was, it was funny. Ooh. So this is Willy Wonka and the Char Chocolate Factory. Is it Willy Wonka or Char no, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? remake. Pretty cool. So this is the white and red variant. I don't know what the actual name of it is, if it's like candy cane variant. But um, this is the first pressing, I believe, which was limited. I forget how many copies there were, it doesn't say. But yeah, it's uh, going for quite a bit. And I got another good deal from Justin, so thanks, Justin. Pretty cool. Then, oh yeah, lastly, not a vinyl, got some more art from my friend Dan. <clears throat> Let's 
see. Oh, he included this guy. What is this? Oh, yeah, it's obviously Sam Heimer cover arts. Super cool. What is this? I never get magazines anymore. I don't know what this is. Oh, cigar press. So I guess it's cigars and... Yeah, <laughs> there you go, cigars. Oh, there's more Sam art. Oh, cool. Wait, is this like an interview? What is this? Wow. Oh yeah, it's a Sam Heimer interview. Wow, with a lot of his art. Very cool. I'll have to look through that. Very neat. Lots of information I could add to the wiki in there, I bet. Very cool. Thanks for that. Ooh, and then the actual art. Very cool. So this, uh, he said, was unused art for an unproduced um, Conqueror Worm 7-inch by Edgar Allan Poe. It just looked so cool that I couldn't pass it up, even if it was unproduced. Super cool. Look at that. That's awesome. And another one. I love that. All the gravestones in its mouth. That's super cool. Wow. And then, yeah, then the last one here. Awesome. Very, very cool. Um. Not sure how I'm gonna frame all these. Should I frame them individually? Should I cut this one? Trim it down? I'm not sure, but we'll see. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, hello again. Uh, I don't know what video this is gonna be in because this is gonna be short. Uh, I'll probably just tack it on the end of one of them. But I got a single package here from Jonathan. Mr. Kadabra uh, got some art from him, so let's open it. I, uh, I really haven't been getting much lately, because I've been saving up for a very big art purchase from Jonathan. So, yeah, I haven't been getting much. And when I do get... Uh, the art I'm planning on, it's only going to be like maybe three or four pieces, so. Haven't been getting much, but what I am getting is very cool. Okay. Oh, not yet. Nicely packaged. Cool. Very nicely wrapped up. Oh, I should have got the the vinyl out. Didn't get the seven inch out to compare. That's okay. Kind of see it. How is it taped? Okay. Let's just rip this off. Ooh.
slide it out. There it is. Wow. Look at that. Wow. So this is the original art for the Kakosa cover. Wow. Very, very nice. Very impressive work as always. Wow. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, I should have... Oh, did, he did sign it. Cool. Jay Tennyson. Awesome. Very nice piece. I have to get a nice frame for that. <clears throat> and I'm very excited to get more from Jonathan. I can't wait. Um, I am also going to get uh, some shelves for all my vinyl finally because they've all been in boxes all this time because i live in a small apartment with three other people so i don't have much room for stuff but i'm finally getting shelves so i might do like a whole tour of my final collection because i'm gonna have to take them all out of the box and onto the shelves anyway so i might do a video on that um but yeah besides that i don't have much else coming but we'll see Alright, thanks for watching.